Yo, what's up, YouTube? Yeah. It's it's all about that experience, you know, the life experience, and for better or for worse. Whoa, for better or for worse. Che, you know, it's 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 funny, and this is coffee, and I'm gonna drink this real quick, but. Mmm. But when in my head, you know, it's funny when you try to when you try to see different types of people's vantage points and points of view on maybe the same topic, maybe a different topic, and try to understand how everything works, how everything networks out through nonverbal actions and gestures. Oh god, I was burp, I drink too much coffee, Jesus. And what well, was another one? Man. This is terrible. I gotta stop this. But anyways, you know, and then you know the verbal actions. How you have different types of characteristics of people. Whether you're shy, whether you're ballsy, whether you're a loud mouth, whether you're whatever you are in between. You're an asshole. You're a jerk. You're, you know, you're whatever. And all these different styles and ways and takes and points of views of how to, for example, let's just talk about relationships. How to get. A romantic relationship for example and it's, it's interesting how everybody has their own ways of perceiving and looking at things and how their mind plays tricks on them or how shy guys will overanalyze and overthink things through and down themselves before anything even happens or like how you know in the shy guy slash nice guy good guy community we call them assholes or jerks but how those guys would get the good girls they'll get the pretty hot girls but it's, it's a funny and interesting thing when you think about it that for us shy guys in particular, because I'm legendary shy guy of the streets, you know, here in Hawaii, 808 State, but, you know, it's interesting how maybe it's because of the lack of what we shy guys should be putting out, even if we ain't got the balls to walk over there and say something, maybe if we just put out a little bit of something and we think about for a second, instead of ourselves, think about from the female standpoint what we're giving her to see, what she's looking at when she sees us, and maybe she's attracted, maybe she might like us, but because of one most females in my generation nowadays they will sit there and look pretty and the guys have to go over there and walk over there and do something or say something and if they don't that spells out the quick yeah he's not interested or maybe he's got a girlfriend maybe he's got somebody already and or maybe i'm just not attractive to him you know and at the same time that's also our fault too as shy guys per se or nice guys or good guys is that because of our lack of getting across what we Apparently, don't mind getting across because damn, woman, you fine. Damn, well, I mean, it's, it's come on, come on now, come on, come on, man. It's it's hard, but at the same time, we cannot blame the jerks and the assholes of the world who probably want to get their dick wet, or for whatever reason that they have a lack of thought to allow them to walk on over there and say something, do something to get the girl. It's not our fault that the girl's gonna think this is the only type of guy that gets me, this must be my type. And she has this whole entire false illusion about how assholes are jerks are the only type of guys that she can get, which means that's her type, which means that that's all she's gonna look for, is because us good guys, who happen to be nice guys and extremely shy guys, who are really good on the inside once you get to know us, it, it's, it's, it's our fault. Because, hold on, let me take a breath. <sighs> you know, we're not stepping forward and doing something, we're not stepping forward and saying something. And we're not making it clearly known, even if we're extremely slow moving and doing so that there is a possibility of something. You know, and it's funny that a lot of times when we talk about strangers, maybe you're at the mall, maybe you're outside in the public, you walking this way and they're walking this way and you walk past each other. You know, maybe that might be the only time that you'll ever see that person again in your life. You never know. And it's it's the reality check that a lot of us shy low self-esteem, shy, nice, good guys, whatever category that you want to put us in, go through with that very thought and us trying to fight that battle within ourselves to get up enough cojones within ourselves to, you know, turn around and say, hey, wait a minute. Oh, che. You know, or, or say whatever you're going to say that will break the damn silence because, jeez, come on, man, I don't want to be single forever. Damn, but it's... It's 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 that battle that we all have to face and everybody, no matter regardless what type of category you feel you fit into because you know you and I know me and well while I'm not ashamed to say per se what category I am for this plutonic romantic thing going on over here between opposite sex and trying to, you know, create a relationship here 
there's some of you guys out there that maybe you guys fit into a little bit of several categories. And when we figure out what we're after, the type of opposite sex, if this is for, apparently I'm talking about heterosexual relationships here. I don't really have the right to speak on any other relationship types than that, but, you know, I'm pretty sure it applies, but, you know. But if, if we figure out anyways that we're after this type of girl, this is the type of girl I'm, I'm after, you know. And we realized after several attempts, for God knows what reason, it didn't work. And we've come across, you know, that little gap in the bridge. And we're trying to figure out, okay, I've, I've tweaked this, I've tweaked that, I've tweaked that. But what I haven't tweaked yet was myself. And then you look into yourself and you realize certain things that might turn off the type of girl that you're going after. Maybe it's because there's those certain things that you do that might turn off the girl that you're after, or the type of girls that you're after. It kind of sways them or pushes them away. Which in that case means that we gotta decide whether or not it's gonna be worth us walking on over there and not caring to do anything about ourselves and, oh, take it as it is. Oh, take me now or lose me forever. You know, or whatever it is, or we're going to actually put some work in on it to get it done. Because, you know, we can't ex expect all the females nowadays to just up and live with whatever we got, good or bad, you know. And, and a lot of times they're not going to live with it. And, you know, everybody's got their own problems depending on the category. Like I said before, everybody got their own problems. You know, assholes sometimes need to ease up off the words and the attitude and the way they walk like they own the whole sidewalk. You know, a shy guy's got to learn to speak up a little bit, get a little bit of balls in their ball sack, and walk on over there and say something, be a little more confident with the women, you know? Smarty pants guys have to learn to tone down their, their smart aleck answers and their technicalities, because not everybody likes to be condescended upon. You know, everybody who falls under different categories has their own little battles that they need to face in order to better their odds and chances, especially if your odds and chances aren't too pretty. Well, anywho, the Sadak here is saying that it's, it's still winter. It's winter solstice, and I'm still sweating out here. But it's Hawaii, so I mean, go figure. But I will catch you guys later, so um, whatever you guys got out of that, you know. You know what? I hope you guys got something out of that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later, so stay funky, brass monkey, stay chill, keep and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. So stay alive until you see me and I see you again because I know life is difficult but it doesn't have to be forever we have each other or you have your friends and they have you and I have you guys and you guys have me and I have my friends and yeah don't worry it's a long chain and we got each other's back so I'm trying to say so I'll see you guys later shoots